Ah, <sighs> what a pity. Hello everyone and I finally came out of winter hibernation. In this video I will tell you about easy to install, uncensored alternatives to ChatGPT which you will be able to run on your own hardware fully locally. And unlike chat with RTX, which is a total gimmick, we don't need any specific hardware. And we also will talk about chat with RTX soon, since we will compare the things I will install to the functionality of chat with RTX. First thing you need to do is to download the exe file with the first link in the description. It's the application with which we will launch our models. And the second file is actually our model, similar to one that uh, Nvidia puts with their chat with RTX, uh, but with the only difference, this one which we download is uncensored. Great news, after you download the model, we can already test it. Launch Cobalt .exe file, after which choose ROCAM if you're using RX 6600 or newer card. I'm using RX 7600, so I'm using ROCAM. If you have older GPU, use Vulkan. Then set context to 8000s. After that, click on Browse and select model you downloaded. Layers is very important thing about which I wrote in my text guide. Right now we don't need it and leave it as it is. The program will select optimal amount of layers needed to run your model. Press launch and wait a little bit. If you are loading a model from HDD it will probably be slow. If you are loading a model from SSD it will be very fast, again depending on your hardware. A web page should open in your browser and you will be able to write something to a bot, also yes it's not beautiful, the design is let's say politely not really great and we will change it in the future but here we need to test test our speed and test is our model work we type it how to cook for example or just hello and it answers us of course it's just a joke but still but to have more functions i'm actually pretty sure that these functions exist in cobalt ui i just can't find them but anyway uh, i want more functions i want better ui so i download front end and it's called the uh, silly tavern how to download how to install the link to the detailed guy with images will be in the description it's not hard it will take around five minutes of yours so you downloaded everything installed and we are in silly tavern first thing you need to do is to connect it to cobalt just choose the same settings with me it will be same including URL URL will be same and press connect Next thing you will want to do is to create or to import a character. I imported ChatGPT 4.5, you can download it in the description or just copy the text like here, just create your own character, it's not important. But what is important is advanced formatting, where you need to choose a preset and here it will be better to create your own preset, it's written in human language, or to copy it somewhere from the internet like I did or download one I provided in the description. Next choose uh, the left option and uh, choose streaming it's very important here i advise you to use universal light preset we are ready to speak with our ai and to import here documents let's start uh, for example choose this dummy.pdf and uh, ask uh, what this pdf is about and it answers us what this PDF is about. If we need to uh, get an information from the video, from YouTube video, we need to download captions manually, uh, which Nvidia actually does automatically, but I guess it's possible to do it automatically too, somehow, but I don't know how. Uh, and uh, here I downloaded the TXT file of captions and ask uh, what this video was about. And this video provides tips for writing motivational later. Yes, it's uh, it's actually it is. <laughs> In conclusion, what I want to say is that you can run AI models on any hardware if it's more or less powerful, of course, that exists, including old CPUs, modern CPUs, modern GPUs, no matter Nvidia, AMD, or even Intel. And this is very easy to try out, so if you can, please do it, because it's very important in the modern world to keep up with the technologies. Thank you for watching everyone! Press like buttons, comment what do you think about all of this, about this uh, format of the videos, since uh, this channel again is mostly about hardware. Thank you, goodbye!